The inspiration came from our honeymoon in the south of France. And at that point, we discovered a great love for wine. And when we returned, it was difficult to find what we were used to drinking without paying an exorbitant amount of money. We had also been teaching at that point, especially her for 22 or 23 years at that point, and thinking about life after teaching, what would we be doing? And we thought, oh, a vineyard would be nice. And driving around on Sunday afternoons, we found various land for sale. Most of it was extremely too big or very small and are very expensive. You know. close, too close to the river, or it just wasn't right until we drove by here. The first two years we put in two acres of grapes, and the second year put in two more acres and had a well put in so I could irrigate. The following year began to rebuild this farmhouse and make our first vintage, our first harvest of wine. Uh, it was difficult at first. I was doing a lot of research. Uh, I knew nothing about this, but I was also 51 years old, very energetic and enthusiastic, and I had a very good support person. We were the first winery in Yakin County. When we started, there were no tasting rooms, no wineries, this was a dry county. Now we have over 12 in this, just in this county, more than any other in our state. We both very quickly realized there was an industry starting to grow and became involved with making sure the industry developed. We would ask people, do you like a dry wine or a sweet wine? And if they looked at you with a sort of glazed look of not understanding, We'd look at each other and say, oh, time for Wine 101. And we just taught. To me, the hospitality is so important. And people want to feel good. They want to come into a place that's welcoming and friendly, casual, but yet they know what they're talking about. That's sort of us. And we're always here. I may be out in the vineyard, um, but when they come here, it's like coming to a home rather than going to a corporation. And we, it just naturally fell into that because we like and feel very comfortable with people. We created a wine club and that wine club, that's our core. We have people that come to every event that we do. They, they want to help at harvest. They want to go with us on trips and do different things. They come into this room and sit and just spend the afternoon. It's very much, I think, involves with the two of us, being socializing with the two of us. However, it also, I think, is very seriously involved with the wine. I age my wines for over four years, a minimum of four years in oak barrels, and certain things happen to the wine that doesn't ever happen in a bottle. There's a softening of the tannins, and I produce a wine that, well, our wine club members would be better to describe it, but they enjoy, they go other places, they taste other wineries, and return here. The Cabernet Sauvignon actually does very well here, and a number of locations, it's difficult to grow that particular grape, and I'm not quite sure why. So we were very fortunate when we found this property that the soil itself is unique to our area. You go one mile away or a half a mile away in certain directions, and that's the end of it. It doesn't exist anywhere else in Yakin County. An event building here on the property that... Uh, we call the studio. When you walk into the building, it is usually one word that I hear, because we've left it more or less alone the way it was originally built. From the 30s. And there's only one word that I usually hear, and it's, wow. It's a lifestyle. The industry, by its nature, is very asset heavy. But you're buying a lifestyle as well, and it's the enjoyment of watching the vines grow. And it's that richness 
of working with the land and working with uh, the magic of making wine and the richness of being with people. I think someone who buys this property will be very fortunate in that this is not a normal corporate entity. And the support that we have from our customers is very, very rich. And I'm hoping that they will enjoy it as much as, as we have.